Hey Aquarius, this can resonate for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The first card that fell out is Queen of Fire. This says this represents a feminine energy who could be an astrological fire sign or have dominant fire signs in their natal chart. A Queen of Fire displays traits of her passion, intensity, creativity, love for community and leadership. She is innovative, she brings transformation, transmutation, and is daring, dynamic, and enthusiastic. And then you have independence, and then you have resistance. So I don't know, there could be a fire sign that you guys are dealing with that is kind of like trying to be on their own, like maybe they're resisting any type of communication with you. It doesn't have to be a female, it could be a male. Um, maybe with like more of a feminine side to them, more of like... Um, Somebody who doesn't... Okay, so masculine is more the one that, like, takes the lead here, right? And the feminine is more the one that sits back, you know, the empathic one. So I feel like this person is somebody that has a really big heart. But at the same time, it's like they are not really, like, ready to take some type of leap of faith here. There's a lot of resistance. And resistance is kind of a way of saying no without really saying it. You have independence. Healthy independence is needed at this time. You're meant to thrive by your own efforts and partnership with the help and offerings from others. This can also be an omen to remain independent of drama. Don't get involved in other people's situations. Go solo. Abandon fear. Make your dreams a reality and don't get held back. You could also feel like this person been holding you back from living the life that you want to live. Okay? And with the resistance, Carter says the energy of resistance is present. Carefully assess the situation. This is an omen to signify that you or somebody else is resisting change or an offer for something. Different than stubbornness, displaying resistance is a way of saying no to something for not being ready or not being in agreement to what is being proposed. So this person may be choosing to stay independent at the moment, or this could be you being asked to stay independent at this moment because right now this person's not ready. Okay? And then you have graduation. So I feel like you guys are like, you know, um, maybe you guys are graduating. It is the end of the year. Maybe you just graduated or something. It says, congratulations, you have, usually I don't read all these, congratulations, you have graduated from a really difficult life lesson. You can breathe a sigh of relief for overcoming your situation. This can also be an omen to confirm that certification, certification, is that, whatever, is com for completing a program, educational course, or a personal goal. This may, may, oh my God, this marks the end of a cycle. You have made it to completion, and I'm going to clarify that, the lover's card. You guys have chose to put yourself first, okay? The three of pentacles. This could be a collaboration, work with other people. Um, the emperor, taking full action on your life here, taking action on things. I just feel like there could be something that you guys had did so much work in, and it's like you finally have, like, finished something. Like, you've learned a lesson, you've completed a goal, something like this, right? So what is the challenge The Eight of Cups, it's hard for you guys to walk away from this, all right? Because maybe you guys feel like there's more here, but I feel like it kind of feels empty. The Three of Cups, like, I feel like this person or this situation does really make you happy, but at the same time, it's like there's nothing to gain out of this. It's just, it just feels like an empty feeling, okay? The Queen of Pentacles and... The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. <laughs> oh my God. You could be dealing with like three different people. Three of Cups. I don't know. And then you also have the Three of Pentacles. There could be a third party issue here. Okay. And it could be like three females. So if there is somebody that is resisting anything with you, it's because there's other people that are involved here. And I don't think it's just one person. Like this could be this person's mother. This could be this person's sister or family. It definitely feels like a feminine energy. You even have the queen of fire. So there is something that is being said to this other person in their mind. And I feel like um, it's either the third party is saying things to them or they're not ready to walk away from a third party. There's too much going on in their life. I feel like they... So the thing is... They may be getting money from one person. They may be getting empathy from another person. And the Queen of Swords is like they have somebody that stands up for them. So to me, it's like this person may have multiple people involved in their life. And um, the reason why this person is resisting this is because I feel like this person 
doesn't want you to be a part of this because what they're doing is they're hurting people. They're hurting people. The Page of Cups, the Justice card, and the Ace of Pentacles. This person feels like it's better for them to leave you and let you be, so this way you can find something more stable, something more, you know, um, healthy than them. With the Paranormal and the Knight of Pentacles, this person's like, they know they have a lot of work to do, and they're just not ready, and that's the reason why they're not really coming through and they're not contacting you is because they are kind of living the life the, the way that they're living their life is like they're okay with this. That could be confirmation. Look, the three of wands. There's too many threes, and then you literally have the three queens. The only one that I don't see is the queen of wands, which is like that spark, inspired action. Like, I feel like this person is just, I don't know, I just feel like they have, like, no inspiration, like, they don't have a plan. I feel like they're just doing things just to do it. And they're just living their life. Just taking it day by day. I don't think this person has like plans for the future. Or things that they really want. When it comes down to like relationships. I feel like they're just kind of just. It is what it is type feeling. The three of swords in reverse. The moon. And the nine of cups. You could have found out that this person was lying to you. You could have found out this person was really, really, like, greedy. They were hiding things from you. The Two of Pentacles, they could have had two different sides to them, you know. I feel like it's taken a long time for this person to contact you. It could be, like, two years or something since things have messed up. So I'm going to clarify the Independence card. The Decadence, that's the Tower card. Okay, and she has like this eyeball on this canister. So the tower card is an epiphany. The seven of pentacles and the eight of wands. I feel like you guys realize that this person has wasted a lot of your time. Maybe you had an epiphany that you should just move forward, that you're just wasting your time waiting for this person. Look at the clocks, they're all like melted and shit hanging over her arms. Just, I feel like you guys were like watching the clock and like, this is gonna be the day that this person messages me or, you know, this is gonna be the day where things change. I feel something coming and then like nothing happens. And so I feel like you're getting these epiphanies so this way you can allow yourself to let go and move forward and start fresh, the three of wands. The Three of Wands is a card of being able to, it's a card of patience, but it's also a card of kind of waiting for a perfect time when there's never going to be one, okay? And it's like, I feel like you guys are still holding on to like a little thread of just this person being able to come back. But I feel like you guys are also starting to realize that you've wasted a lot of time waiting for this person. And the Page of Cups said it could have been more of like, you know, um, an illusion, Is this person going to want to reconnect the Six of Swords? They feel very detached. Okay, see how they have their hand out? It's almost like, the, it's like, wait, hold on. You know what I mean? Or talk to the hand. <laughs> um, and the Magician. I think this person has disappeared because the life that they live, I feel like they're happy with it. Or they're just, maybe not happy, they're comfortable with it. And they feel like you should not be a part of that. There's something special and unique about you. The Justice card. They're trying to do the right thing. They feel you as somebody that's completely different than the other people that they are messing with. And so I feel like this person feels like they cannot do this to you. They don't want to hurt you like they hurt other people. You know, there's something special and unique about you that makes them feel like they need to respect you more. Well, the Five of Cups. There's a lot of, um, there's a big feeling of loss and missing you. And there's a big feeling of regret, but at the same time, like, this person feels like the best thing for you is for them to move forward and to let you go. So this way you can be free and find somebody that can take care of you because I feel like this person feels like they just can't do it. The Ace of Swords, as I'm saying that, which means I'm speaking the truth. Like, they could have literally told you, like, you deserve somebody better than me. You know, you don't want me, you don't know me, you know, things like this. I feel like this person could have told you these things. 
the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you guys know, and the Two of Wands, that it's time for you guys to work on yourselves and to set new plans and new goals here and allow yourself to move forward from this person. I think that's something that you're doing. Because you do have this graduation card. So I do feel like you have completed. Look, you hear the, the sirens? Anyway, I was trying to pause it, but it didn't work. <laughs> I just feel like you guys have graduated from this. You have learned a major lesson in this connection. And this is going to push you towards, you know, bigger and better. Okay? The Queen of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. Try to keep your emotions under control, okay? Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Some of you may be really angry at this person or really hurt by this person. Some of you guys want to take that mask off or unblock them and just talk to them. But I'm telling you, if you guys do that, I feel like you guys are only going to end up getting hurt with this person. If this resonates for you, if you were to get back in contact with this person, this person's going to end up hurting you again. The Four of Wands. The Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Because they're, they're still confused. They still don't know what they want. And they're still holding on to things that no longer serve them. And I did just see 1111. And I'm pretty sure I came out when the Four of Wands fell out. Or right before. And so that's also 1111. It's time for you guys to walk through these new doors. You might be seeing 1111 a lot. You might be seeing 911 a lot. Um, or 222. Just so you guys know, these are signs that you guys are not alone. And that you're being heard. Okay, and just know that there's always something else, okay, and I'm going to get a message from your higher self before my phone decides to shut off on me because I already have like a long video recorded on here. You have getting nowhere. You may need to adjust the lens of your life, change your mindset, and then change your lifestyle. You could still turn things around. I do feel like you felt like by dealing with this person, you just felt lost. So, of course, my phone decides to shut off at the last few seconds. But it says you may need to adjust the lens of your life, change your mindset, and then change your lifestyle. You can still turn things around. This person, the reason why you feel like you're never getting anywhere is, and the reason why things never really happen is because this is not the person who's supposed to be in your life. You deserve somebody that's better than this. Okay? And Spirit really wants you to see that. And don't let this person keep you stuck. Because if you were to choose this person... I feel like you would always feel like unhappy. You would always feel like there's more to life or you're not getting what you would, what you truly deserve. And then, look, what you allow will continue. It says your boundaries are currently being challenged, so this way you may, say, you may learn the art of saying no and remember your power. This person can make you feel powerless, okay? But the thing is, like I said, I feel like there's changes happening, and it's not going to be like that for any for too much longer, you have to liberate yourself, you feel he's like walking away, walking alone, and walking towards the light, so it says you don't have to carry your burdens alone, have the courage to ask and accept help, and then you have closed doors are blessings, if something you were hoping for doesn't happen, know that something even better will, and that's why this is happening for you, because like I said, you guys deserve something and someone that's so much better than this. You do not deserve to deal with somebody who can't even make you first, you know? I'm going to get one of these messages um, for you. You have empath. You have, an empath. you have empathic abilities, being able to feel another person's emotions as well as their thoughts and energy, having no control or awareness over this exchange. I feel like the reason why you held on to this person so long is because you are such a big empath, and you could see through anyone the good sides you could see through the most toughest exterior you could see their heart and so that may make it hard for you to kind of set boundaries or walk away from people because you see things on more of a deeper level and more of a soul level and so the way that you see things and view things and feel things are not the same as most people okay so um, let me get one more you have teas. You can suck people in without them even knowing you. You showcase your sexuality, but only a few get a chance to play with you, making you a master in teasing. And then you have which. You have a strong connection to the universe that if developed through study and practice, you can live an empowered life that can bring forth positive changes. So you guys may do, like, spell work. You guys may do, like, rituals. You guys may, 
you know, do candle magic and stuff like this. Maybe you have like a lot of rings and jewelry. I'm seeing like a lot of rings. Um, and like long hanging earrings. I don't know. But anyway, you can manifest anything that you guys want. But this one person, I feel like you're being called to be independent from this person because if you were to be stuck with this person, you wouldn't feel like you'd have any independence left in you. All right? I hope this helps. And remember, only take what resonates. Toodles.